Well, now, Ryan, we've got your favorite shot in golf. Uh, any, any playing professional that I teach, uh, we've got a 60-yard bunker shot here, and I will assure you that when we're working with this shot, we never want to have this shot to begin with. Uh, I never want to see one of my tour players, especially on a par five where they lay the ball up to 60 yards in a bunker. We could always leave it short or carry it over this bunker. I, I just don't want to be here. But every once in a while, we end up someplace where we really don't want to be. That's when we have to hit the shot. And uh, Ryan, one of the things that you've uh, chosen here, let's tell them what club we have because a 60 yard shot for us, I think would be a lob wedge, uh, Certainly, but because of the bunker, talk about the club selection. Um, I got a 52 degree gap wedge. Um, the reason I chose this club, it's got a little bit more bounce. It's got a little bit less loft, so it's going to be just a little bit easier to get a little bit cleaner, uh, shallower uh, contact through the sand and, and catch the ball in, in really the right amount of uh, contact that you need to get it to go 60 yards without you know blading it or, or catching it heavy. So. This is my club of choice, but I mean, you can play with anything from a pitching wedge to a sand wedge. Yeah, a pitching wedge, sand wedge, sometimes even for some of our amateurs, maybe even a nine iron. But the critical element that he said is he doesn't want to try to make a big swing here uh, because the bigger the swing out of this position, the more risk that we have involved in hitting it solidly. I think the one thing that we want to see here in, in hitting this shot we want to make certain that we've got a good solid base. We want our foundation of our stance. Let's take our stance here just a minute and we'll talk. You'll see Ryan work his feet into the sand a little there. That gets him a little better footing. You can see he's got a tiny bit more weight on the left leg, maybe 60-40 on the left leg versus the right. He's worked the feet in. He's got uh, the, the proper lean there into his left side. He's going to keep his lower body quiet. And let's show him about the length of backswing we're going to make here. You see it goes back to about shoulder high with the 52 or gap wedge there, and that's going to allow him to go ahead and release, and because of our ball position, our weight distribution, and you can see he hasn't moved a lot of lower body uh, or weight to his right side on the takeaways, basically just turned his shoulders and stayed very still there. So what he's going to be able to do from there is just turn down and through the sand. He'll catch the ball first, he'll release, there won't be a lot of lower body movement as well coming through again. His hips and body will just turn through and finish the shot. The most important thing that we want here is good clean contact. We want the golf ball to be hit cleanly and then the sand. So you'll see it's just a nice clean shallow divot out of the sand when he hits this shot. Nice follow through, shoulder shoulder high uh, on both sides. Let's go ahead and hit one for him, okay? All righty. Perfect, beautiful shot there. Proper distance, nice trajectory, well done. And you can see he just took a nice shallow spray of sand, good clean contact, hit the ball first and then the sand, plenty of loft and trajectory. The one mistake that I see amateurs make with this shot, especially when we've got a big lip here in front of us, they try to lift that ball in the air. And when they lift, the body leans back, they get into trouble, the arms swing up and invariably they blade it right into the front of the lip. So if you're having trouble with this shot, Let's go back and recap again. Work the feet into the sand. Ball a little back in her stance. Weight slightly forward, 60-40 onto the left leg. Nice turn away to about shoulder high. Make sure we've got a club that's got plenty of bounce, plenty of loft to clear the front lip, and then just a nice follow through to clip the sand and go to the finish. I think if you'll try this, this will make that 60 yard shot a little bit easier to cope with. But remember, the most important thing I'd rather you not have this shot if we can avoid it. This is one of the most difficult shots you'll encounter in any round of golf.